Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys and girls how to create a very very easy space environment in Blender. So as you can see this is what we're going to do, we're going to add some uh, stars and then also some nebula or space dust or whatever you want to call it. So let's get started. So you can see I've got a blank uh, new scene. So I'm just going to delete everything by pressing AX and then just clicking delete. So let's create something. Uh, just let's do a Suzanne model as well as in the example that I showed you guys. And let's just add a quick subdivision surface and maybe let's just increase that and apply that. Right click shade smooth and that's basically all we need. So let's go to the shading tab. And yeah, I want to switch over to the render view so we can actually see our environment or our HDRI that we're using. So maybe let's give our Suzanne model a quick material. So click new and let's just give it a color and maybe let's make it nice and metallic. And then let's add a light source as well. So I'm going to shift A and then light and then I'm going to choose sun. All right, and let's just maybe move the angle slightly maybe something like that. Okay, that's just so we have something in the scene. It's nicer to look at, that's all. Okay, and um, next we're gonna go to the world settings and we don't wanna use this color, so I'm just gonna bring the strength down to zero so we don't see anything. And we're gonna re replace that with our space environment. So all we have to do here in the shading tab, we're gonna change from object to world. And this is where you can see what our HDRI or our environment is currently using. So we don't want to use this background color. I'm going to delete this. And then we're simply going to create a new node by pressing Shift A, search, and we're going to type noise. And here we're going to select noise texture. Okay, we're going to place that down. And then we're going to take the factor and run that into the surface. And now basically what we're saying is we're using this noise texture as our HDRI. So if I uh, orbit around our model, you can see that we've got this noise texture in the background. And then all you have to do is we bring in a color ramp. So just add a new node color ramp, drop it onto this line. And then we can just bring this black, just drag it in. And then we get this fractal kind of looking noise and then all we need to do is we need to increase the scale of our noise textures to around let's try 700 okay then we get something like that very kind of fine looking noise and then we can drag this in and now you can start to see we are getting some space environment so this is basically the first step really really simple and you can just play around with this value and maybe even the white as well to maybe just if you want lots of stars so yeah you get the idea play around with that and then next what i want to do is i want to create some like nebula or space dust or whatever you want to call it um just to add some color to this space environment so really really simple as well so i'm just gonna connect this um, to the mapping node so if you have the node wrangler installed you just select this node and press ctrl t and then this will automatically create the mapping and the texture coordinates for you and uh, yeah just connect that to the vector node like so all right so next let's add some dust or space dust or nebula so all we're going to do is we're going to select the noise texture node and we're going to duplicate it so press shift d place it below that and then we're going to decrease the scale from 700 to something really small like 2 and then we are going to mix that onto this current setup so I'm just going to create a mix node like so mix RGB that's perfectly fine and we're going to connect this to the factor and uh, then we're going to connect this we can connect this to the same vector because the top section these are the small fine uh, little stars and this is going to be the nebula so we you can control them differently if you create another mapping node but we'll get to that soon so now what we can do is we can place another color ramp we can actually duplicate that one or create a new one and now let's just have a look and see what we have currently so you can see we've got the big noise um, with the two scale so now let's just bring this in a bit 
So now I can see kind of what we are going for. Kind of these cloudy looking objects. So play around with these values. You can also increase the detail to maybe something like four to get so smaller details, maybe even higher. The higher you put this, the I think the longer the render time will be. But yeah, you can play around with that. And now you can play around with the color as well. So on the color ramp, just click on this white little arrow and you can change the color to anything you like. So if you want to make these clouds kind of less visible, let's just go into this blue color again. So just click the color and then bring this V value down. And there you can see it's kind of almost like it's getting more transparent. Um, so yeah, that's just an easy way to make it less obvious or less visible. So we can play around with those values and you can obviously play around with the scale if you want to make them a little bit smaller or bigger. Maybe if we put it on like one. Yeah, that's kind of nice, but that's a little bit dense. So I'm going to even bring this down to like 0.1 maybe. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to add some more color variation to this. So I'm going to duplicate these two nodes and I'm going to duplicate the mapping node as well because I want to change the low or the position of these different color clouds. So all we need to do now is we can duplicate our mix node, place it here. And then I'm going to connect this different color to that mix node. All right. And then I'm going to connect this node to or the vector to the vector of our second mapping node because we're going to change the, 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 the position basically. And then we can just connect the generated from there to this vector right here. All right. Let's see what we get. Let's just change the color quickly so we can actually see our clouds. So I'm going to change the bottom one to something maybe let's do a bright pink maybe that's maybe yeah that should be fine let's just up this valley so we can see where they are so you can see it's doing them in the same location as the blue one or the green one so now we can go to this mapping node and we can just change the rotation the z rotation or any rotation actually but i'm going to change the z rotation to around 180 so it's kind of on the other side all right and then we can change the scale as well maybe to two and maybe add some less detail maybe four and then i'm going to bring this v value down to like 0.1 as well so it's not as strong and now we can see we've got our pinkish clouds and we've got our green clouds and uh, let's just go a little bit closer to our Suzanne model. There we go. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's looking pretty cool. And it's a really easy way of doing this. And you can obviously render this using Cycles or EV. All right, and that's how easy it is to create a space environment in Blender. Uh, if you guys and girls enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up if you did. And also please consider subscribing if you like quick tutorials like this one. You can also pre-order my Blender book that's coming out soon. Uh, all the details are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Cheers.